The Dax Harwood Tequila of the Week. Oh. Are you ready to do that? <laughs> am, am, I, what, am I breathing? Yeah, brother. Yes. What time is it? 7.16. I've been waiting all day for you. And we have a special uh, special thing here because a friend bought me a bottle of tequila. and it, got, it, it, it came to me, and it looks more like an urn. I'm not sure what I'm looking at right here. What kind of tequila is this I have in my hand? Which well, funny enough. The Tequila of the Week. Funny enough, just like an urn, it brings me back to life too when I'm down. Uh, I get down in life and I raise the urn and I get up, you know, uh, get up in more of the ways than one, if you know what I'm talking about. That'll be our blue chew ad later. Uh, this is our Classe Azul Reposado. Um, it is my second favorite tequila that I have. And I know there's some tequila snobs that say, oh, there's additives to it. And yes, there is, but additives isn't such a bad thing. It's not such a terrible thing. Um, but you know, the, how smooth this tequila is and uh, the, the, the taste of it. And obviously the handcrafted bottle is a, a handcrafted bottle and, and um, that allows and preserves the flavors and the, the agave that's in it. Um, I don't know. It's it, some people, like I said, the snobs give it a bad rep. Me, on the other hand, I love it. Uh, it is about 180 to 200 dollars a bottle. But uh, if you're uh, if you're a little uh, light handed on the poor, you'll be able to make it through. Me, I'm a moderate poor kind of guy, so <laughs> it doesn't last that long. And we're gonna have t-shirts soon. I think one of them is gonna be a moderate poor t-shirt. Uh, let me show you the glass I'm using today. Oh. Uh, I just use this for the occasion. This is a new day glass, sir. Oh. A new day glass oh, to celebrate uh, what we're talking about today. Makes me love you and hate you both at the same time, dude. <laughs> My glass, standard hardwood glass here. There we go. So you ready? So well, let me let me ask you: Is this your first time ever tasting Class A? I know this you're not a. I know you're not a huge tequila guy. No, I've never tasted uh, Class A before. I've seen the okay. bottle before, but I've never tasted it before. So when you, fin it. when you finish this, and hopefully you don't finish it tonight, or maybe hopefully you do, uh, it's a great vase. Uh, it's a great centerpiece. Um, I like to keep it around. Plus, it makes me look rich when people come over. I keep them all. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I can't wait to see what you think. You got to give me your honest review, though, okay? Oh, for sure. All right, so Dax is pouring as well. I already poured mine. Man, and, 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 uh, and we're going to sip on it through the episode, right? Absolutely. It's going to be the okay. best episode of all time. Uh, yes. let's, let's cheers virtually here. Virtual, che virtual cheers and a virtual bell ring, okay? To all of you at home. Wow, that is some fucking good tequilas, <laughs> Dex Harwood. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so there's some caramel flavoring to it, which I love. There's a little bit of vanilla as well. Um, you know, and this one again is Reposado and it's aged in uh, the whiskey oak barrels um, for between three months and about 12 months. Um, it's, I don't know, it's whenever I want to celebrate something, whatever it is, um, and I'm around a lot of friends, this is what I choose. Um, it's such an easy sipper. Never, ever, ever, ever mix it in your margaritas or I'll have to fucking kill you. Uh, and I'd hate to do that. Uh, it's just a sipper. Uh, no ice either. But if you if you have to choose ice, go for it. That's fine. I won't kill you for that. But uh, I'm glad you enjoy it. What do you uh, What do you taste? Wow, it, I taste the sweet. It's sweet, and it's smooth. It's not like it's not like a tequila you normally get that you have to ah, kind of like work down. It just it just goes down. It's smooth. It's it's got, you can taste the citrusy, you can taste the agave, you can taste the, I guess it's caramel. It's sweet and it's smooth. And I just took another sip without even thinking about it just now. Yeah. And that, that's, the, that's the scary part about it because you can, uh, <laughs> you can mess yourself up on it. I'm glad but, I have notes. I'm yeah. Have notes. <laughs> yeah. But dude, it's, it's, you know, a lot of tequilas are, well, I don't want to say a lot. A lot of the tequilas that are, uh, widely manufactured that a lot of the people use do have a bite to them. They do have a kick to them and it turns people off, but it is a, it is, a, but the agave and the tequila does, um, there are studies done where the agave, uh, what is it? Brings the, uh, uh, the body's temperature up, raises the body's temperature a little bit, which, which makes people more alert, but also, you know, you hear some people say that that make tequila makes me mean, um, that's, kind of where it comes from but just because it gets your raises your body temperature up which could also in turn make you more uncomfortable which turns you into being mean but for me it raises my body temperature up allows me to be more alert and and for some reason um i enjoy the feeling and 
I love hugging people and uh, I love telling them how much I love them while I'm drinking tequila, which we, you had some at, um, WrestleCade, right? We, we drank tequila and, and it was so crowded. We were uncomfortably close, but it was kind of cool. Cause I just started asking you a question and we were literally just started doing a podcast right there. It was really yeah. cool. <laughs> Dude, I don't even want to know how much I spent at that bar that night on Dude, people. I was just. <laughs> you uh, bought had, everybody. I had a everybody great, you could see. Yeah. Dude, I had a, such a great match with uh, Speedball Mike Bailey. I wish everyone could have saw that match. And I mean, you can on Fight TV, uh, but what a great match that was. So I was, I was on a wrestling high, and then I had a couple of my friends with me, and I knew you and I were going to start this podcast, and you were there. And what it's just such a great night, dude. I. Um, you know, uh, it was so fun. I got to hang out with, uh, of course, uh, you know, uh, Sherilyn and, uh, yep. you know, Alba and people like that. But you got to meet with your friends. WrestleCade's always a blast. And uh, I'm probably going to go again. I love going to WrestleCade. Yeah, I think so, too. And I think I did last time uh, introduce you to my best buds, the Dawson brothers. Dude, and I've watched your, I've watched your boy Zane wrestle every uh, year at WrestleCade. My son and I have literally had conversations about him. So it's is, very cool to meet him, you know. In my opinion, if you're talking about a monster heel, he is the best unsigned talent in the world. And his twin brother is just as incredible as he is, too. He could have been brought in as a uh, Wyatt at one point. You know, oh, yeah, for sure. He's really great. Check out the Dawson brothers uh, wrestling all around the country and really one of the great young tag teams, monster heel tag teams in the world.